Hello dear kids, how are you all? Welcome to the channel Empower Study. Kids, we are going to learn today mouth parts of the animals. So let's start. Kids, as we all know that animals are divided into three main categories on the basis of their food habits and they are herbivorous, carnivorous and omnivorous. The first category is herbivorous. Animals that eat only plants, fruits and vegetables are called the herbivorous animals. So this type of animals are eating plants or plant products. The examples of herbivorous animals cow, goat, zebra, sheep, giraffe all these are the animals they eat only plants or plant products. The next category is carnivorous animals that eat the flesh of the other animals are called carnivorous animals so this type of animals eat the flesh of the other animals now let us see the examples of carnivorous animals cheetah lion crocodile fox and tiger all these animals hunt the other animal and they eat the flesh of the animal so all these are comes under the category of the carnivorous animals omnivorous animals animals that eat plants as well as the flesh of the other animals are called omnivorous animals so this type of animals are eating plants or plant products as well as they eat the flesh of the other animals Examples of it, red human beings, they eat the plant products as well as the flesh of the other animals. The next category is scavengers. Now what are the scavengers? Animals that eat the flesh of the dead animals are called scavengers. Means they eat the dead animals or rotting animals and they are called the scavengers. Examples of it, vultures and jackals. Now next is, how do the animals eat? First of all, we will see about the herbivores. Animals such as cow, goat, horse and giraffe have fled and brought front teeth to bite off the leaves and grass and their strong back teeth help them to chew the food. So animals such as cow, goat are having flat and broad teeth which help them to cut off the leaves and with the help of their strong back teeth they chew the food. Cows and buffalo chew the cut. Children have you ever observed cows and buffalo constantly moving their mouth? Yes, that's called the chew the cut. Animals such as cows and buffalo they cut off the leaves, they eat that and they swallow it as it is. Later on, they bring it back to its mouth and chew it. After chewing, they swallow the food again. So this type of habit is called the chew the cut. Now let us see the uh, teeth of herbivores. You can observe over here, they are having flat teeth at front side and they are having broad teeth at the back side so front teeth help them to cut off the leaves and grass and broad teeth help them to chew the food so this is the mouth part of the herbivores now let us see about the carnivores animals such as tiger lion and fox have very sharp pointed front teeth to tear the flesh 
and back teeth with the jagged edges. So animals such as tiger and lion, they hunt the animals, they kill the animal. So they are they are having very sharp and pointed front teeth and they tear the flesh with the help of it and they chew the food with the help of the jagged edges now let us see the mouth part of the carnivorous animals you can observe over here they are having very sharp pointed front teeth you can see it's very sharp as well as pointed so with the help of these teeth they tear the flesh of the animal and see observe these back teeth these are with the jagged edges. Jagged edges means zigzag type of pattern. So with the help of this, they chew the food. So this is the mouth part of the carnivorous animals. Now let us see the feeding style of some other animals. Frog use their sticky tongue to catch the insects. You can observe in the picture the frog throws out its sticky tongue towards the spider. Afterwards it will catch it and then it will roll it back into its mouth. So frog use their sticky tongue to catch the insects. Snakes swallow their whole food. You can see in the picture. They do not have the chewing teeth, so they swallow whole food as it is. Insects such as bee, butterfly and mosquitoes have a long tube to suck the food. You can see in the picture, they are having long hollow tube. With the help of this tube, butterfly suck the nectar. can observe in the picture see it set the nectar from the flower afterwards it will roll its tube like this and fly away so animals such as butterfly most bees are having this type of hollow tube with the help of it they suck the nectar from the flower Animals such as dogs and cats lap up milk or water you can observe in the picture cat is having milk Animals like squirrels, rabbits and rats feed on hard grains and nuts and this type of food habit is called gnawing. You must have observed elephant using its long trunk to drink water as well as the to plug the plants or flowers or fruit from the tree so elephant uses its trunk for eating and drinking now let us solve some exercise regarding it antelope is a dash animal yes it is a herbivorous the second thing is animal that eat plants and the flesh of the other animals are called yes Yes, you are right. They are called omnivorous animals. Buffalo is a which type of animal, children? Yes, it is a herbivorous. Carnivorous have dash front teeth. They are having sharp pointed front teeth. Herbivorous have dash type of front teeth. Yes, they are having flat and broad front teeth. Elephant uses dash to eat. Yes, what will come in the blank? Trunk. They use trunk to eat. The next is butterfly have dash to have food. Yes, they are having long thin hollow tube to have the food. Like butterfly, bees and mosquitoes also have long thin tube. To suck the food. Snake have dash the food. Snake swallow the food. Frog has dash to catch the insects. 
Yes, you are right children. They have long sticky tongue to catch the insects. So that's all for this video kids. We will meet soon in next video with very interesting topic. Till then, please do take care of yourselves.